Hi, this is Eric Martin with Working Geek. I'm here with designer David Short looking at Ground Floor by Spielworks. Uh, I believe this is the only copy in the U.S. right now. It is. Air shipped in so David can show it off at Gen Con 2018 to you, our friendly viewers. Unfriendly ones as well. <laughs> yes. Uh, so this is a new version of Game the Tasty Mushroom first release. Indeed. I know Uli is mostly known like as an awesome developer. And he's made some changes, but maybe you can give a presentation on the game for people who are not familiar with it, and then maybe get talk about what's what's different. After Great. That. So we are entrepreneurs, and uh, we are starting our business uh, and hoping to grow it from the ground floor up. We start off with our player board, which shows our business. All right. Here Your humble the... business starts with just one floor, okay. and you start off with a specialty. Your specialty happens to be a web-based company, and so you start off with an upgraded. Uh, an office uh, meeting room, so every player starts off with an async uh, special ability. Okay. Um, and so your player board also shows um, your starting CEO, that's yourself, and then it also provides a certain number of time markers, in this case four, and that is how much time you have to work on your business. Okay. Each employee that you hire throughout the game, you're going to bring this pawn up in order to show that the size of your staff has increased. Okay. And you're going to get more time. Oh, I more. my level of CEO. Like, I become an awesome CEO. But, and know, so you would get employees. more and more time markers to then be able to spend as your staff grows. Okay. It's going to last seven rounds. And the first thing that happens, we're all going to get income according to um, our various abilities that we've gained during the game. Uh, the okay. default income is $9. So I would just grab $9. You would grab $9. Okay. And then you already start the game off with a little bit of information uh, to start your company. It's a worker placement game. But your workers are your time markers. You can only allocate so many workers or right. so many hours. Yeah. And uh, one of the keys to the do. initial idea for the game was that time is our most important commodity in life. Right. And so I wanted to make the game around that. And so this signifies where you're spending your time out here in the city and in your home office. Okay. So on my turn, I would take any one action out here on the city and place that many time markers uh, that are required. Most spaces only take one, uh, but there's others that take more. Okay. Um, then I would pay the cost for that space, so I would pay six dollars in this case. And um, then I'd move uh, to the next player in clockwise order. They would place and so forth, and we'd keep doing that until everybody's out of time markers. Okay. And then we would resolve the buildings, left to right, top to bottom, and each one resolves and does their thing. I'm not going to go over each building at this point, but what you're trying to do is, is gain money, information and um, increase your popularity okay. and um, your brand awareness in order to sell your products for the best price. Okay. Over the course of the game, you're going to be uh, growing from a lowly single level building and you're going to be gro growing new floors and so you actually literally see your skyscraper um, grow and grow and grow bigger and bigger and bigger over the course of the game. Yep, if there's new, yep, they give you new abilities and new worker placement spots and um, only you have access to those spaces on your player board. Okay. Um, and how are we measuring ourselves at the end of the game? What, what, how do we rank ourselves? Great, so at the end of seven rounds, um, you're gonna count up all the victory points on all of the uh, uh, <clears throat> improvements that you've bought. Uh, all the, the office improvements you've made also give points. Um, and then uh, uh, every three dollars and three information together also uh, makes a point and then most points wins. Okay. And so what has changed from the original version of the game? So I know there was an expansion that came out and that's sort of been incorporated it has. into this. Yes, so, um, so uh, almost everything from the expansion has been incorporated. Um, and um, so all of that is included, uh, which included uh, more specialties, um, uh, more floors, and um, a couple of event cards. And so we've included all of those. We've also included um, various ways to make the economy, um, which is one of the keys to the game, is that uh, the game has an economy that is random every game. And so you actually construct the economy and you have to adjust your strategy according to it. Right now we're in a stable economy. Okay. And, um, right, and then we're going to move into a recession and then a depression and perhaps we just dive right out of the depression straight into a boom. Okay. And so you have to react as a business to that economy and that's one of the keys to the game. Everybody loves that, that, that element in the game. We have a tiny bit of look ahead. Yes, a tiny little bit, little exactly. Ahead. And okay. so then what these cards do here is they create scenarios, like this one is the Great Depression, and it actually tells you how to build the economy. But now, then that's randomized. They're still randomized, so it tells okay. you how many of each one to put in, but within those, they're shuffled. 
Okay. Yeah. And you, I see you've got ten cards. Yeah. Only seven rounds. Exactly. So also not everything. Not comes everything out. comes out. Okay. Exactly. Uh, um, go ahead. No, I was going to miss any... Yeah, so the other new thing is that I've included an Automata deck. Um, so this allows you to not only play solo, but it allows you to play a uh, add a second or third player when you're playing with two players. Okay. Um, and so they're basically an AI player, and it comes with a deck, and it also comes with three personalities. Um, and so you choose one of these. They're basically three different difficulty levels. And so you choose the one, that, uh, and they would come with certain uh, abilities and certain uh, starting setup. Okay. And then you would shuffle the Automata deck according to that setup, and then each turn, all you do is you flip it over. All you do is flip it over, and it tells you where they're going to place their their time markers and or what decision they're going to make uh, according to what building they're resolving. Okay. And uh, it's really nice. You can still see what they might do, but not know exactly um, because their deck is shuffled every round. Right. Uh, and then every time they buy a floor improvement, um, their car their deck is seated. Um, with uh, more cards that um, make them not at yeah, exactly with yeah exactly okay. um, and so that was the biggest thing and then of course we've added some brand new content some new floors like so that are not in any of uh, any of the previous editions um, and then lastly uh, we streamlined the game to go from nine rounds to seven rounds in order to um, shorten the play length and okay. make the game a little bit more accessible. Okay. So this is an interesting revisiting. It was wonderful. After six years, I this mean, is actually my first game ever. Yeah. And so to see that relaunch and have my first baby come back out again, right. and Spearworks has been great to work with. And it really was neat to uh, go back and see what you can improve. And, you know, no creative product is ever finished entirely. And it, so it was great to go it, back and fix published. a few bugs. Right. <laughs> it's as done as it's going to get at that moment. Right. And so it was really nice to go back and say, okay, we want to fix that problem. I want to do that. And so that was really neat to get to do that. Okay. That's good. Thank you very much, David. Thank uh, you for having showing me. showing this off. It'll be out before the end of the year. Yes, sir. Before the end of 2018. Yeah. There we go. Coming from Spielworks. No, oh, and you can also pre-order uh, BGG. You can pre-order BGG. I am a terrible self-marketer. Uh,